Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Nuno Brazil and I'm sitting with my business partner Dominic Ferreira. We're here to introduce one of the best houses you are likely to see in your entire life. Yeah, I mean, gee whiz. So one thing that obviously we all understand is that location is, is paramount when it comes to valuing properties, right? We've always told position and location, location, location. When it comes down to location, to be 100% candid with you, this property should be on the market for twice the value that we're actually marketing at. 100%. Now, that's before we even start to unpack how incredible it is, not only architecturally, but in how almost lived in the property is. I mean, so for example, we see the vegetation is in full bloom in the sense that when we're comparing something to almost a new development and then you have a home like this, which is sort of 12 years old, but as time's gone on, more love, more, you know, design qualities, um, you know, more appropriation of space, um, you know, and, and new accents to the home have been added. We are left with such a sophisticated product that to be quite honest, doesn't really make sense to me Does in it? what the value if of I the property. If I had 16 and a half million rand today, honestly, this would be the house that I would buy. Because if you're looking at the Joburg market, this street and this position is almost compared to that of the Nettleton of Johannesburg. So I just love it. When it first was, when it was first brought onto the market in 2009, um, it was initially introduced onto the market for 24 million rand. And that's it. And I, you know, I believe that a price was sort of achieved that was really close to that. That was initially. Obviously, as time's gone on, it's actually changed hands in terms of ownership. But what I love about that is that this particular seller has appropriated the space to be absolutely incredible. I mean, for example, each room almost has a theme to it. And that's before we even start to break down the property and the architecture behind it. I mean, there's, there's so much method to the, to the madness that is this home. I mean, if we look at it from a style perspective, I almost want to say there's accents of like a neoclassical feel to it. At the same time as, you know, we have a layer of... Um, almost, um, you know, friend, French influence in, in the shutters. But for me, and the reason why I think it's the palatial masterpiece that, that it is and why we've actually coined this home, the White House, is, is it sheer, is it sure, um, or sheer, should I say, it's sheer grand scale. I mean, we've got floor to ceiling yeah, sure. heights that are, you know, closer to 3.5 meters um, and rooms that are, you know, one flowing onto the next. And although it doesn't necessarily have... Um, you know a, a conventional open plan to it the fact that it is so adaptable by virtue of these big apertures and the sliding doors within it that allow you to actually see from one portion of the home right through to the other or alternatively to close and sectionalize each room off is really where there's a whole lot of value that's in this home um you know i mean 1260 square meters under roof and a 1750 square meter stand if we are to just break that up and start to look at the numbers right and i'm going yes, to be let, let, let's look at the numbers it, it's always important um because we, when selling you know clients it's either you're going to be swayed on numbers and or it's emotions you know it, it's the perfect home you've been looking for it and this is a bit of it's both. I couldn't agree with you more. I and, could and not agree with it's you more. Always, it's either the numbers that are going to get you or emotionally. But here, it is honestly that, that feeling. But when I look at the numbers, I would never say we're on the market for 16.5 million rand. No, to, to be honest, I don't think there's anything within the property space at the moment. So let's break it down. That, that money could buy that would you know, kind of compete with us on its scale. So, I mean, even if we just look at it basically, right, your replacement cost on the home, at 1,260 square meters. If I'm to be in, incredibly modest yes. about it, right? So if I'm, let's say that you could, by some miracle, uh, rebuild this house at 14,000 rand a square meter. At 1,260 squares, we're sitting at 16,800,000 rand. That's the moment you dig into the ground for the first time. Once you have the design, that's what you are in for. Now that's incredibly modest. To be honest, we're probably closer to 17, but that's even at the 16.8 just on replacement. And the land value? And that's exactly it. So for me, what's, what's, what's really the hero here is its position and proximity. I mean, I can literally pretty much see the Scanson skyline from where I am. I'm, I'm 500 meters, give or take, as the crow flies from Sanson City. So if I'm a CEO, if I'm someone working a corporate job who, you know, this, is, this could potentially work for, I'm going to completely eliminate traffic from my, from my trip. 
it, by, by virtue of its proximity. So if I'm to break down land value, right, in general within that Athol area, I can almost look at a sort of, and this is also a modest um, valuation, is sort of a 2 million rand for every 1,000 square meters. So here, if I've got 1,750 squares, we're looking at 3.5 million yeah, rand. So million. the moment I add that to the 16.8 that we're already at, I mean, we're at 20 million, 300,000 rand. That's just on replacement cost. And that's not even taking into account capital appreciation. Capital appreciation, um, you know, the fact that the home has already lived in. When I say it's lived in, it's that it's not a new build where trees are small, the garden's kind of this broken up thing. I mean, we have these walls over here that, well are, that are grown. That's it, with, with vegetation that just makes it so homely, so incredible. I mean, I could very well be, you know, somewhere in the hillside, um, you know, in, in, in the Italian hillside for, for, that, for that matter. Um, but going back, right back to the value at, at, at sort of 20.3 million rand, that's also not considering that we are located within a very exclusive and secure street within Athol. Um, to be honest, I haven't actually found another street that has this level of security to it. And there are so few properties within the street. So at the yeah. same time is that you've got your property value cool for the area. But the moment you're within the street, it, it should almost double in my mind. So to be honest, if we were at a position where the sellers were kind of saying to us, you know what, let's go on at 22 and a half million rand. I, to, to be honest, I don't even think I would have questioned it. I think I would have been happy to start there. So the really? fact that we are literally at 16 and a half million marketing price, it almost doesn't make sense. And, you know, I really wish I could be saying this about every property that I take on. We, we, we are trying to be as competitive as possible. But, you know, to be completely frank, whoever buys this home is one of the luckiest buyers in Johannesburg. And I can tell you right now that this, you, you cannot, in terms of capital appreciation, you probably, you, you know, you can't, you can't really buy. You can't really buy a better buy. Um, you know, to be this close to the Sanson precinct, have the security that you have, be, to live in a home that has been designed so well, to have this grand scale, this grand, you know, you know, this, this incredible essence to it, and at the same time have a com contemporary finish based on the fact that it internally was redone almost five years ago, um, is, there, is there a better property on the market? There isn't. Um, debatably, one of the best homes I've ever seen. This is, you know my style. This is exactly right up there. Well, it is there. It is basically everything I've ever dreamed of. So to, to wrap it off before we obviously, you know, give our viewers and the country, you know, an actual tour of this magnificent lifestyle and home, uh, we obviously have the, the stunning design, um, awe-inspiring surroundings. We've obviously mentioned uh, we have literally the one percenters of the one percenters as your neighbors. I'm not even going to mention the CEOs that are your next door neighbors. Not only are you rubbing shoulders amongst some of the highest caliber people within Johannesburg by virtue of your location, but I can comfortably say that you could easily host up to 200 people here without bumping shoulders throughout the entire evening. I can't wait to take you for a tour of this space. Awesome, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to it.